This is Richard Spangler with Alliance Voice Ministries. Uh, I've been in ministry for 44 years and this is the first time I've ever done a YouTube video. Uh, but the importance is very strong that God gave me that I was supposed to do this. So here I am. And what I'm about to share with you came from the Lord as I was watching a movie called Hacksaw Ridge. It was done by Mel Gibson and it tells the story of a seven-day Adventist Desmond Doss who was a conscientious objector who refused to carry a gun during World War II of any type. And the amazing thing is he became Congressional Medal of Honor winner. He was the first conscientious objector to win a Congressional Medal of Honor. Now, he did that by being, a, by being abused. He went through the Army. The Army didn't want him. They tried everything in the world to get him to quit because they didn't want a man who wouldn't carry a gun. They considered him a coward. And he was considered a burden by his, by his fellow soldiers. And the fact was, they didn't know who he really was. They didn't understand him. Well, on, on Okinawa, there was a battle called Hacksaw Ridge, one of the worst battles of the war. The reason it was called Hacksaw Ridge by our troops was because the machine gun fire from the Japanese was so strong it literally cut men in two. The mud puddles were filled with blood, not water. So it was a horrible, horrible battle. And in the midst of this, there's this man with no gun, a medic, saving lives. Well, the ridge is overrun by the Japanese at one point again, and all the American troops have retreated back down the escarpment below, and he's left up there. And the gunfire and the battle, and he's crying out and saying, God, I can't even hear you. What am I doing here? And then he starts hearing a man call out for help. He goes and rescues one, and he rescues another. By the time he was done, he rescued 75 men and lowered them 350 feet to the ground below. His cry was, Lord, give me just one more. He also treated his enemies. He, they found Japanese soldiers with American bandages and American uh, painkillers on their body. And uh, he, he only said he saved 50. The Army said he saved 100, and they agreed on 75, which is kind of an interesting analogy usually don't the army usually says you get something you want to get something but they agreed with 75 for him but the thing was he was saying just one more lord and after watching the movie i went to bed and the next day that just one more stuck with me and it kept sticking with me and finally i said god it was just a movie a great story i'm just a movie. what are you trying to say to me he says that's the attitude my people have to have I want my people to have that passion of just one more. Just one more soul, Lord. We know that's God's heart. In Luke 15, God speaks of, of the good shepherd leaving the 99 sheep and going and looking for the one, the just one more. And then the woman who had 10 gold coins and lost one and swept the house until she found the one gold coin. And then she called her neighbors together and they rejoiced with her that she had found the one coin. How much more is God doing that for us when we bring in one soul into the kingdom? It says all heaven rejoices when one soul is saved. God's heart is for the just one more. It says in, in Peter that we are to, that God does not want anyone to perish. He wants everyone to repent. So here we are. God's saying Get your passion up. Ask me for the one more and I'll give you the one more. Get that passion. Stir yourself up. The Bible says we stir up ourselves. We pray to God for the, the, to follow His will. And His will is to save souls, to bring one more into the kingdom. The fact is, the word has been given that the mantle that Billy Graham has been given to the church has come down upon the church. But if we do not have the passion to activate the mantle, the man will lay there. Billy Graham was passionate about souls. He prayed all the time, Lord, give me souls, give me souls, give me souls. That's the passion we need to have to go forward and to say, God, give me just one more. Give me one more family member. Give me one more neighbor. Lord, give me just one more person in my community. Lord, just one more. We want a great awakening. We want a revival. Ask God for just one more, and you be bold, you be brave, and go out and bring in that just one more, like Desmond Dawes did, the just one more. Getting that just one more. Expect it, expect it, and then when you get the one, 
go for another one. Ask God for another, just one more. And then when you get that one, go for another, just one more. And don't worry about the devil. People worry about the devil way too much. Desmond Doss, when he was in the battle, the, en the enemy had their guns on him. There were the Japanese soldiers said they had him in their sights, but every time they tried to shoot him, the guns would jam. God protected Desmond Doss in the worst battle. God will protect you from the enemy. The devil has no authority or power over you. You need to leave him to God, and you need to get about doing the business, to get stirred up, to go forth with boldness and bravery, and go get that just one more to change your family, to change your neighborhood, to change your city, to change your state, to change your nation. Now is the time God is calling us to go and get the just one more. Stir up your passion. Go and get just one more.